Peppers are ready to be stuffed. Doing onions. I did bell pepper and celery already. And I'm doing my shrimp. What's your shrimp for? For the dressing. And once I take these onions out, I'm going to use this. this pot. Once I take these onions out, I'm going to do the rest of the shrimp. Another bag. I think I have two more bags. And I'm going to put crab meat with it. And so I'll take all the day together. Mm, sounds yummy. We'll be right back. Is this gonna be sweet potato casserole? No, it's be candy, candy sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes. But we're gonna put them in a crock pot this year, right? Right. So that's that. That's gonna be a sweet yumminess. Right now they're rinsing out the um the crab meat. They're rinsing out the um cans for the crab meat, and it looks like the shrimp is done. I, I, it's, huh? I was gonna tell you that. The crab meat has gotten so expensive that you buy the the white lock crab meat that I used to buy is now like sixteen dollars a container. Mm -hmm. So I found that this bumblebee crab meat in the can is just as good. Okay, y'all heard it from my mom. She she knows what she be talking about. So bumblebee crab meat around this time of year is the um, best crab meat to get when it comes down to price. If you don't want to break the bank. Ooh, I'm about to season that crab. Now, okay, what's the crab meat going in? Um, bell pepper and dressing. The bell pepper and the dressing. Okay, so basically anything that you're doing that's seafood, pretty much. And how do you season it? Or how do you saute it? With, with, you season it with pepper, seasonal, only tattoos, onion, garlic, parsley. Same thing, really. Oh, the real the real seasoning that you cut up and stuff. No. Oh. The seasoning. Seasoning that you buy the so okay. Like the powder seasoning. Mm -hmm. And what's that boiling? That's stuff for the green. That's pickle with oh, pickle, pickle pork. Pickle pork is sweet pickle pork. Sweet pickle pork is boiling over here, you guys. For collard greens. Collard greens are coming very soon. I'm not really a collard greens eater, but if my mom make it, I'll try it. Okay. Just a quick update. Now this is my favorite part of the entire Thanksgiving cooking preparation. So we're going to put everything inside of the cornbread. So this right here is shrimp. This right here is crab meat. Both have been sauteed down. Then you have like your seasoning. There's parsley. I see garlic. Powder, I think that is. Um, they're seasonal. You also need this. The brand, well, it's called Herb Seasoning, Herbs, Herb Seasoned Classic Stuffing. So you mix that with the cornbread, the dry cornbread. And this is the chicken, the gizzards. Wait, no, not gizzards. What's in the the meat part? Gizzards. Chicken gizzards. Oh, chicken gizzards. Chicken necks. Chicken necks. So that's the meat that you put in there. A whole chicken. A whole chicken. And chicken thighs. And chicken thighs. And then that's also the broth that you boil the chicken in, and they're gonna make some regular broth. Store broth broth. Okay, I'm getting out the way because Kayla is ready to do this. We'll be back. We're getting closer to glory. Okay, people, so they don't know what they're doing, so they call me over here to taste test the dressing. So, y'all ready? Mm mm. <laughs> Wait. Okay, we trying another one. I gave them some feedback. You know, they need me. I'm the big boy. Okay, here we go. Totally different. You taste it? Totally different. Okay. One more thing. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. So, it is First of all, let's look at this face. She is so tired, y'all. Put something over my face when you do this, when you edit. <laughs> I want to. 
I just want them to see us on your face. It's 316. Well, you got to look in the camera. Oh, my God. I'm just a dollar a day. <laughs> you can help. <laughs> but it's 316. 316 in the morning. At this point, as y'all can see in my face and my whole whatever I am, it's getting tiring. We just did the dressing. And now I'm on to the bell peppers. So the dressing I, is done. It just needs to go into the oven. Now we're doing the ground right. meat for the bell peppers. So the, I have ground meat in here. Mm -hmm. I have, my, what's the thing called? What that meat that you put with uh, the... Pork sausage. I have pork sausage. Mix them with my ground meat. Mm -hmm. I have um, sauteed onions in here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of bell pepper. Mm -hmm. And um, sauteed, a handful of our sauteed uh, celery. And what you do is you just season your ground meat. You use pepper, season all, garlic, onion, <laughs> and parsley. Okay. And you have all that other stuff. And so you're just going to brown it together so it can go inside of your stuffed bell pepper. So, let's we'll check back with y'all when we finish. Okay, people, I don't know who I did was to start vlogging, but I'm really tired. Like, and he ain't did nothing. What time is it? It's 4 17. It's 4.17, y'all, in the morning, and we still cooking. Mm -hmm. He ain't did nothing, y'all. Y'all, I didn't been slaving. I'm so tired. Well, okay, so now we're to the macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Don't mind the crab meat. Um, yeah. Let me tell you, so I finished with the bell peppers for the most part. I still have to put them together, but I did all my meat. I sauteed my ham down, all my ground meat and everything that y'all saw. And um, I did my shrimp and my crab because I'm going to make seafood, bell peppers, and then regular. Um, so now I'm on to my macaroni. And right now I'm just um, cutting my cheese before I even put my macaroni on. So that way it will be already cut when my, uh, when my macaroni gets out of the pot. And it will kind of melt because the macaroni is hot. So... I'm just cutting it up into small little cubes. And um yeah, baked macaroni. It's gonna be big. And I'm going to sleep, so uh, I'm This going. is my last dish for the night, y'all. And then we're and gonna get tomorrow, back in the morning. Up I'll in the morning. Gumbo. I can't even talk straight. Um tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up and finish my gumbo. I'm making a Seafood gumbo and regular chicken sausage and ham gumbo. And. Are you. Why are your eyes not open? Because I'm tired. And. <laughs> uh, Mike is supposedly. I'm going to make a ham and a crock pot. I'm going to do the ham. Why is that supposedly? What's that about? You know how you are. Whatever. And. Um, and yeah. he's supposed to be making. Trying to help make. What is that supposed to mean? I can make a pumpkin pie by myself. Pumpkin pie. I'm making pumpkin pies. Good thing I don't eat it. <laughs> I'm making pumpkin pies and I'm making the mm -hmm. ham in the crock pot tomorrow morning. And then in the morning, you're going to do the gumbo. And that's it. And that's it. And okay. everything everything, everything I'm, just has to go in the oven pretty much. Right. You I'm make everything and then it goes in the, the oven. bell pepper and the macaroni. So. Y'all, this is going to be the best meal ever. If this is the last video that y'all ever see from us. Like that means that. Oh, and I have to make the cinnamon butter for our Hawaiian rolls. That means that we die from happiness. So, we will talk to y'all later. Fatty. Okay, potential bossy. So it is eleven o one Thanksgiving morning, and I have put my ham in the crock pot. Now the reason why I like to put a lot of people bake their ham, but the reason why I like to put my ham in a crock pot is because it makes it all soft and juicy. Y'all know how y'all always saying y'all have dry ham or dry turkey. The crock pot is the perfect answer for that because it keeps everything moist. So what I do is I take the already cooked ham, put it in the crock pot. I separate, oh it's hot. <laughs> I separate the pieces and I put the pineapples and I put the cherries in between each. You know you do it as much as you can. And then you just throw the rest in there like on the sides and stuff. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, the over there. Oh I wonder if I can take the top off. The lighting is terrible one day it'll be better okay so that's pretty much that okay so um as far as like i don't use the 
the mixture that it already comes with. I create my own mixture in a bowl. I mix the cherry juice, the pineapple juice, ground cinnamon, not ground cinnamon, brown sugar. Brown, okay, let's start over. <laughs> pineapple juice, cherries, brown sugar, mustard, and honey. Mix that together, pour it in between each piece of meat, pour it in there, put it in a crock pot on high for three hours and let that bad boy just... And also I have done my pumpkin pies. Most people like sweet potato, I like pumpkin. I just do the pumpkin and I make it sweet. I put a little bit of extra sugar in it and I put, oh wait, a little bit of extra sugar and I put a little bit of extra pumpkin spice because I like that pumpkin taste. So that's that. Y'all see my pies over there? Y'all see my pies over there? Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, look at my ham, y'all. Let's check on my ham. Oh, it looks so succulent. Somebody give me the definition of succulent. We about to get into this in one second, y'all. Oh, you ready? Gumbo. Me for the gumbo, I have chicken um, that I use for the dressing. I have a little bit of leftover. And I pour, I pour some chicken from a rotisserie chicken. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have sausage and ham, mm -hmm. and I also have onion, a little bit of celery, and um, bell pepper. Looks amazing. So I just sauteed everything down, basically. Don't saute it too long because it still gotta go in the gumbo. Right. Um, Y'all see my pies? And now what I'm gonna do in this skillet, I'm gonna do some crab meat and some shrimp for the seafood gumbo. Everybody don't eat it, so I don't put it in the same thing. Gotcha. Okay, y'all. We're going to check back in later. We got a lot of good stuff going on in the kitchen. Okay, people. So, we're getting close to the moment of truth. So, this is the ham. My mom said she tasted it. It was amazing. It was That's by me. By me. My sister, this is the seafood gumbo in the big one. Um, chicken and seafood gumbo. And then the small one is no seafood. Chicken sausage. Huh? Chicken, sausage, ham, and seafood. You know, she got to be specific. Y'all know her. Um, and then this one is without seafood. That's just rice. This is the greens, Ma. Yeah. That's greens. Okay. And we're not going to, I'm not going to open up everything, but. This is dressing, seafood dressing, chicken um, dressing, just put chicken in it. This is peppers, peppers macaroni. macaroni. Two, pies two by pumpkin you. pies by me, and, and my then mama made, mama made sweet potato. And I'm just doing some candy yams, right? Sure. right. Yeah, candy yams. And I'm just doing some oh. Texas. She's butter. making te like Texas, Texas roll house, butter, like, like cinnamon like, butter. Right. Oh, look, we'll do that again. Y'all, this is going on Hawaiian rolls. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, what did you put in the Texas cinnamon butter? Honey, cinnamon, a little bit of salt, vanilla, pure vanilla extract, and that's it. And butter. Okay, people. We will see y'all later with the final product. Okay, everybody. So, this is the finished product. Candy yams. Baked macaroni and cheese. Um, seafood pepper. Some are seafood, some are not. Seafood dressing. This one is regular dressing. It looks the same. It's just not seafood. That's a pumpkin pie. But this is what it looks like. Quit on the foil. This is the nice succulent ham made by the one and only. Ah. And then the gumbo. Hold on. I don't want to burn myself. Jesus. Well, that's a lemon cake made by my mom. That is the gumbo. It looks amazing. Let me get this. Let me get this spoon so we can show y'all. That's the gum, and then that's the green. Because I can show y'all, I don't eat green. Yum yum, and this is just rice. So that is Thanksgiving.